Hey mathematicians. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to subtract from a negative. And I always feel like it's helpful to think about things in terms of money. So let's say for example, you've got negative $12 in your account. So that means that you literally owe $12, right? So you're sitting in the negatives. Well, if you're irresponsible, like I certainly used to be when I was younger, and because this is something I would actually do a lot, I am already $12 short in my account. Like I'm already negative. And then I decide to go out and spend even more money because when you're subtracting, we're taking away, right? So I'm already negative in my account. And then I take out another eight dollars so that means i'm gonna get even more negative so when you're taking a negative number and you're subtracting a positive number that's really the exact same thing as adding two negatives because i was already down negative 12 and now i've taken out eight more so how much am i in the hole now i'm now down to a total of negative 20. So here in example number two, same idea. I'm already in the negatives, like I already have negative 15 in my account, and then I decide to take away another six. So that's gonna be the same thing as saying negative 15 plus negative six because a negative and subtraction really means the same thing. You're still going down. So because they're the same sign, I'll just add them together. So negative 15 plus negative six is equal to negative 21. So the big idea for these examples is that subtracting a positive means, so subtracting a positive is exactly the same thing as adding a negative, because either way you think about it, you're still going like down, you're still getting more negative.